Oh, you're the camera's pointed down. I can't see where you're oh, pointing. Oh, yeah, I couldn't remember which <laughs> camera was on. We're live! <laughs> Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the mid week. War. We're here to talk some two oh five Lizzle. I am Mad Mike, and with me, as always, is the man who feeds his dog garlic cat food, the Sorgatron. Yes, it's a flea remedy, or we just have a dog that has very eclectic tastes. Uh, either way, it is, it, it's Sorg all day. It is Sorgatron here, ready to talk some 205 live. And it's okay, Sorg. I'm pretty sure in 2017, species is fluid, so, do you, you think, know. Do you think Enzo also has a problem with his hair like this, that, that like his, his nose tickles? Um, because I am going to have to sneeze. Actually, you know, I... Oh, I thought I thought you were asking if Enzo has a flea problem, which I'd also accept and believe as a real thing that possi- that probably happens. <laughs> All right, uh, so Sorg, two hundred five live. Um, what is your one word this week? What is my one word? My one word for this week is words. So so wait wait hold on, I'm pretty sure your one word can't be words. Sure it can. Does isn't that like asking the genie, like wish like wishing for more wishes? Listen, when when Enzo is in a main event uh, of of cruise of the of the cruiser weights uh, situation, yes, I think he can. Okay, all right, I guess that's fair. Uh, my word that for this week is TED Talks. <laughs> Yes, all of this, all of this is great. All of this is great. <laughs> TED Talks is one word, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So that's my word for this week. <laughs> I'll get, I'll get into it. I, I just there, there were some things that were just really fun this week. Um, Sorg, what is your good for two hundred five live this week? My good for this week is I, I want to, you know, there was a lot of good happening, but I want to give my good to uh, Enzo. Um, kind of, I, I'm just a hundred percent behind, you know, uh, Enzo as a, as a, you know, Heel? because that's what he's, I being. don't give a crap what he is. No, he's being an <laughs> asshole, he, he, but he's, he's, you know, he's talking trash and he's really good at talking trash. You know, that, no matter that, what that side point. you're going to land him on, I don't care. The the hair is crazy. He's crazy. And he kicks, he kicks ass on the mic. And now we're in this. I guess we're continuing the reality era, uh, where where we're just referencing the hell out of things that are happening. Yeah, uh, it was a weird segment to close out the show. But but really, okay, here's really weird. here's my thing with that though. But doesn't it feel more like a build to the pay per view than Raw did this this week? Oh yeah, no, I mean, and I I understand why they did. Like it's the go home show. Obviously, you're gonna have something like that, but. I think the match has to follow suit. Like Neville just needs to beat the shit out of Enzo. Mm-hmm. Like that has to happen. I think. Otherwise, what are we doing? Like if we see Enzo trying to like tie up and do wrist locks and shit, like I I don't think I'd buy it. No, 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 no. I mean, he's per- probably perfectly capable of that, but he's like a you know a Stone Cold character where he has to be a little bit. You know, on on the other end of that, you know, and I don't know if he's like a stone cold character. No, 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 no. I mean that he's a stone cold character, as in that he's not technical wrestlers wrestler uh, kind of character. Okay, okay. Because I was gonna say like Stone Cold had like a moral compass. You oh, know, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stone Cold was very much like the Frank Castle of the Attitude Era. Like, <laughs> he is. He really is. Like, because, uh, you know, I've been reading up more on Punisher, getting ready for the Netflix series, and I'm like, that's kind of like Austin. Like, you know, like, he'll take you out, but only if you fucked up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, all right, so, yeah, the, I'm, the end of the segment, I don't know, and just kicking Neville in the dick, like, I really hope somehow this leads to Enzo just getting the crap kicked out of him. Mm-hmm. Well, it kind of has to. Right. Yeah, and the crowd for that segment was real weird. Why do you like, think they were they were cheering everything Neville was saying and booing 
everything Enzo was saying. I've it's noticed like, that it's like the they, last two like, weeks have been like that on, on 205. Yeah, well, it's just like they want to sing Enzo's theme and his intro, and then they want him to go. Like, <laughs> they just want him to fucking leave. Mm-hmm. Like, like that's why that Braun segment was perfect. <laughs> like, he got, say, he got to say his catchphrase, and then he was just destroyed. Oh, jeez. All right, well, my good this week is uh, Drew Gulak on commentary. Oh, jeez. He has a future there if if it doesn't work out with his wrestling career, which how could oh, it not? Oh, my God. Drew Gulak, he, he's next level right now. Mm-hmm. He's next level. He, when you say you don't like the Titus brand, but you enjoy his TED Talks, I mean... <laughs> nice and subtle. Uh, it was Yeah, it was nice and subtle, wasn't it? Yeah, like, and we got to see another slide. Sorg, we got to see another slide. I was very excited. No Channing. Um, no, no cell phones. Oh, no cell phones. That's right. That's right. No cell phones. No chance was last week because, as, as Vince McMahon said, there are no chance in hell. That's, that's right. <laughs> also, no cell phones used to be the policy of no cell phone video uh, at the shows. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but now Drew Gulak just wants to eliminate cell phones completely. Yes, yes. He because sees it as a Galileo, downfall of America. Also really pissed about Galileo iPhone X. Galileo, Galileo, I thought it was Plato. Galileo did not have a cell phone. I no, thought it was Galileo. Plato, Galileo? Oh, these guys it was are, Galileo because he was talking about... These guys are like, up in my head. Or maybe it's his he was hair talking about, to me. Like, um, He was talking about the sun and the moon and all that stuff. Mm. Yeah, no, it was Galileo, though. No, and Galileo, he's right, you know? Galileo didn't have a cell phone sword. By the way, I love that you're just doubling down on Galileo right now. Hey, Galileo, Galileo. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did, not, go. did not mean for that to happen. I don't think anyone means for Bohemian Rhapsody to happen. It, ju- it just occurs. Mm-hmm. Um, so, Sorg, not every show is perfect, nope. as we know. Nope. What would... What would be your bad for 205 Live this week? My bad for 205 Live? Wow, there was so much good that happened. Um, uh, my my bad would be... I'm... I'm no, no, I like that part. No, no, I like if, that part. No, if, no, no, no. I'm going to pick a bad for you. Okay, because I, I know... have a very specific bad. Okay, I, I think... Hold on, before I take that, what's your specific bad? 205 Live hates me. Because of Kitty Cat Man? Because of Kitty Cat Man, Sorg! Yeah. You know, I gave 205 Live number one last week. Oh, yeah. And what do they do to repay me? Take they... out take out the Kitty Cat Man. Oh, we froze him. <laughs> he was so mad he froze the internet. Are you back, sir? I'm back. I didn't know I left. <laughs> uh, but, but they... I, I, Sorg, I just wanted to see that match. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to see, like, I kind of had a feeling it wasn't going to happen because we still had a lot of show to happen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, it, like I'm like, this show is an hour and a half. I know we're not getting everything that they're announcing on this show. This show is packed, ish. No, it was free for a two five live. It was free packed. Yeah, because we got two matches and two segments. That's mm-hmm. that's pretty big. But yeah, um, poor Kitty Cat Man. I kind of wish 205 Live took place on Monday just so we could call him Garfield and we could say that he hates Mondays. Well, he kind of does because he's not there. Well, yeah, that's true. I guess he does hate Mondays because he's not on Raw. Technically, so... he's on Main Event a lot, though. This is, this is, you know what? I think, yeah, I think, I think I can put Main Event airs on Wednesday, right? Like, I think I can put my own hair in my mouth. Um, that's not your hair, Sorg. Um, 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 that... um, Sorg, sorry, I'm worried about you. Why does it take like? Why does it taste like gyros and desperation? Um, I'm I'm pretty sure you just described Enzo Amore. Mm. He's gonna fuck that bucket of chicken, Sorg. No, yes, he is. <laughs> he's he's going to fuck that bucket of chicken. Damn it! Why, <laughs> that was my bad then. Um, uh, let's see. What was that? Let's see. Because I was the gonna. Fact that Enzo didn't fuck a bucket of chicken. No, you know what? I, well, actually, now it is. Now it is. I, just, I, love, <laughs> I do love how injured uh, Enzo came out looking with this and that he was just he was 
What is it? Give give love a chance. Is his with Tupac was his shirt? It's pretty. Oh yeah, well he, he was he was rocking a lot of uh, Tupac California California love stuff. Yeah, I, I, well yeah, I guess they are in California. Which I mean, is that just him trying to pander to maybe get cheers? Mm-hmm. Um. Okay, my bad. Is Cedric still feels like he's just kind of around? Oh, poor, I. Uh... I mean, at least we might be en- we might be entering into a thing with Gallagher. Yeah, yeah, that's which, true. Which Hold I'm on. okay with Hold that, on. but Hold on. Cedric deserves Hold on. better than this. Hold on, I'm getting this out of my face. This hair is getting crazy. Um, but anyways, no, but but Gallagher is just amazing right now. Oh yeah, that backstage segment was fan flipping tastic. He he is scary. How yeah. did he go from so lovable to just straight? scary it's the accent sorg it is the accent it it's is... the accent as you know as anyone who knows me know knows this i believe english people always make the best villains mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's definitely that's in why that loki, zone. that's why loki has an english accent he, yeah yeah that's true because he didn't have to no, he's no. from he's from Asgard. He can speak however he wants. Yeah, yeah. Technically, they're Norse. So yeah, mm. yeah. Lots of plants have a Norse. Get it? Get uh, it? Norse. That's a doctor. That's a Doctor Who joke. Oh, yeah. But no, like it's because of the accent, and he's kind of like it. Kind of reminds me of Sam Shaw from TNA mm-hmm. when he was doing like the Dexter gimmick. Oh, yeah, that's right. The wrestling serial killer. Yeah, because I, I think it's like a combination of the accent and what he's wearing. Because mm-hmm. he just, he's just dressed like he's ready to beat the shit out of someone. Right. It, it looks like like if Roadhouse took place at an English pub. <laughs> Which is like, a great concept for a movie. Yes. I, I think that might end up just being Kingsman. But... <laughs> <laughs> sorry, the hair. This is, this is sorry, a visual just, for you guys. Sorry, sorry. Just, just move, just move the wig. What, what wig? Um, All right, then, then get a brush, man. Hey, I got a, I, I got, got a, it's early, but I got a, a barber next door. He really hooked me up. <laughs> yeah, he definitely gave you the fade. Uh, <laughs> sorry, if you could change anything about this week's two hundred five live, what would it be? What would I change about two hundred five live? Um. That we got more PowerPoint slides. <laughs> yes. I just love so much about this. Rich Swan, TJP, I'm loving what... Or, uh, yeah, the Swan, TJP thing, I'm loving what happened there. Um, wait, am I looking at the wrong results? I am looking at the wrong results. This is last... last wait, this, is this yesterday's? I don't know. Sorg. Yeah, this, well, is, this, this is last week. TJP attacked... Um, yeah, somehow, Kitty Cat Man somehow, somehow, somehow Swan. I got on the wrong page, but, but I was remembering correctly. I, I don't know. I just have uh, uh, Jack Gallagher beating up Cedric, which was a thing that happened, so it wasn't too far out of a uh, uh, turn. So. Which I thought was funny because it came after a Cedric win, too. Mm-hmm. Which is fine. Which so. I mean, yeah. Uh, if I had to change anything this week, I probably would have had. I don't like. I would have changed something about the Neville and Enzo thing, but I don't. I can't put my mind on what i would change right right and and it's interesting because now like neville's kind of getting cocky again he's like you're you're nothing which you know does that turn into between you know enzo's actions you know enzo getting beat up again or does this turn into he's being underestimated like it almost seems like he's trying to turn neville face yeah a little bit i think you're over I i i think you overthink that one a little bit. It's that's my. I don't that's know my about opinion. that. I know you. You, you analyze. You analyze. To, to yeah. Judgment. As we've gotten to a lot of times, especially on the raw wrap up. Um, but uh, <laughs> I, 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 that's what I'm. I'm kind of pigeonholing this one in for you. Is is my? Yeah. Thing. I mean, it, it might. That it is, might just be he's the fate because I think Enzo's kind of on Roman Reigns level booze. Mm-hmm. Like, like it wouldn't surprise me. Like. Like, it's going to take a lot. It's going to take a better heel than Neville. No offense to Neville. Mm-hmm. To make to make Enzo get a face reaction. 
But people are still excited about him. People are still saying the phrases and, and everything like that. He's still good. Yeah, but they're saying the phrases, and then they stop cheering. Mm. People mm. do just like to chant things. That is true. That is true. Like, if we had a face champion right now, like Akira Tozawa, this would be an amazing story. Mm -hmm. But right now, it's just kind of confusing. But also, let's see where the story goes. Let yeah. Me... Oh, yeah. No, I mean. This is a chapter. I, it was a good It was a good promo. It was a really good promo by both guys. Mm -hmm. Like, but, and Enzo bringing up the fact that he's more of a superstar than a wrestler. Like, I don't know how that's supposed to help him. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, I, I don't know. It's like saying, hey, Sorg, I had horrible grades in high school, but I had perfect attendance. <laughs> like, you're focusing on the wrong thing in this vein. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like, unless this turns into someone... I kind of hope it turns into s someone taking Enzo under their wing and teaching him how to wrestle better. Ooh, or, or like, hey, this is the important part in the ring. No. Wouldn't it be great if, if if Enzo and Drew Gulak became a thing? That's what I was thinking. That's exactly nice. what I was thinking. Listen, all this talking and stuff, you need to get back to basics, man. You know, and that, Safe no, and that sound feet on the ground. Safe and sound feet on the ground. Mouth in the... Uh, I, I, I don't know. We'll figure out the rest of it. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. We can we can do this live. Safe and sound. Feet on the ground. Mouth in check. You're next up on deck. Oh, I like it. Hi oh, I did it. I did it, Sorg. I like it. All right, now Sorg, the difficult question: Where do you rank 205 Live this week? Uh, two. Um. NXT is coming up, as we'll talk about. But uh, you know, I think this was a dense show. Like there, there was a lot of stuff in it, and there was a lot of good stuff in it. So I, I there was there was there was a lot of great stuff. So I, I'm I'm kind of leaning towards that. A, a strong, strong number two. Okay, um, I'm gonna go. Uh, I think I'm going also number two this week. It's closer. Uh, c closer than. Now you know what? Because they didn't fuck it. Because they didn't give me Kitty Cat Man. I'm going number three. Mm -hmm. I feel that strongly about Lindsay Dorado. Um, and, and I actually did like NXT a lot this week too. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go number three. I think uh, the the weird the combined lack of uh the Lindsay Dorado match that was advertised from the start of the show. And the weirdness of the final promo just just bumps it down for me a little bit. Because mm -hmm. we got a bunch of fun stuff on NXT, too. All righty. Uh, so, Sork, where can the good people on the internet find you? You can go to SorgatronMedia.com and check out all the fine programs. There's a new sports program from our friends at Bold Pittsburgh. There's uh, our, our friends at The Broadcast. There's our friends at The Scare House. A lot of great content going going up. All right, and you can find me at Mad Mike four eight eight three on the Twitter machine. Also, go to at Mayhem Show. Look for the hashtag MM for when I live tweet things such as Lucha Underground, which boy oh boy, we will get to later. And uh, for Sorgatron, for the garlic cat food, I'm Mad Mike, and this has been your Mid Week War.